<laughs> feel like I'm doing the news before. In today's news, the weather is nice. Over to you, Carol. Hey guys, how are we going? Uh, welcome to today's episode. I feel like I am uh, doing a news report. I feel like, <laughs> oh my god. This is some next level, uh, like, effort for me on like a term of a YouTube video. We'll swap to the iPhone footage to see what we're looking at. Yeah, we've got a light over here, then we've got the camera. Don't mind the thing. And then we've got another light up here, and I also brought in a, a desk. Because... Uh, I feel like when people do like reviews and stuff, like they usually have like a desk when they do a review or something. And today we are doing a review or something. We're doing a review or something that might interest some of you. Uh, and now the first thing uh, for me personally, when looking to find a review on this subject, I couldn't and have really irritated me. So I technically bought this uh, item blind. Uh, just, you know, put it, put my faith out into the universe that this thing would be good and it is. It, it is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so obviously, if you've seen the title, you know what we're talking about, because then you wouldn't have clicked on the video. Uh, but we are reviewing today. Well, I'm gonna have a, like an in-depth look review into the Evoc um, Seven Liter Hip Pack Capture Pro. Um, I obviously will show some riding clips. I don't know, just some like GoPro stuff to mix this all up. Um, but yeah, so this thing here is actually. Pretty fantastic. Obviously, it's seven liters, uh, and um, as you can see, I don't know. This is the black version of the bag. I should really ask Tags how to do reviews. Hello, He's really good. Anyway, I'll today? link his account down below. Today, yeah, <laughs> um, but so the start of things off. The main reason why I bought this bag, as someone who is obviously always filming, capturing, trying to do stuff, um, this comes. This like stems back to like my snowboarding days. I hate riding with like it big backpack like I understand that I'm still going to in the future I have to like still sometimes carry my big camera bag um, and you know like that's okay because you know that you are going out to shoot like proper production stuff if I need to bring like my, my gimbal and stuff actually that is a complete lie because I'm looking at like upgrading my gimbal to a smaller more compact gimbal that can still hold the same pay weight, like payload that potentially could clip onto the bottom of this where it has like a tripod holder Honestly, this bag is very, very exciting if you are a creator. I really highly recommend looking into this. Um, anyway, again, all over the shop here. I haven't written any show notes so or video notes, so it's going to be real wild. <laughs> I think before we like dive into this, I should show you like what my other bag options are to ride with. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit of a long one, so if you guys are interested in this thing, like trust me, I'll do a good review of it. Um, so yeah, so this is like my everyday go-to camera bag. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty big, but it obviously can't hold a lot of stuff, which is obviously its main purpose, and it does a really good job. Like I can fit a gimbal inside here. I can pretty much fit everything I need to go create a dope cinematic mountain biking edit inside this thing and some, like it's really good. Uh, only downside is it's so bloody big uh, that like it just irritates me. Like, I don't like having like big bulky stuff on my back. It just, like if anyone out there rides with a backpack, you sort of know that feeling, especially if there's lots of money sitting in your back. Like that's one thing that always in the back of my mind every time I'm riding, I'm like, I'll be like, oh, there's about, I don't know, if my drone, my gimbal, my camera body, my lenses, like my oh, there's like, you know, close to $12,000 sitting on my back right now, that is fantastic. And that plays with your head. Anyway, so what I, what I, what my go-to has been up until purchasing this has been this GoPro backpack, which I've modified and I've like inserted, um, I've inserted like a camera pack into the back of it, which is only a liter, which is sort of irritating, but I could always upgrade. Um, 
and this has been pretty good. Uh, I can obviously fit everything I need into it, and because of like GoPro's streamlined bag, it's, it's actually not too bad of a backpack to ride with, but it's still a backpack. Uh, and you still get super sweaty back, and especially if you're doing a lot of climbing, it's just, like, it, it does the job nice, and it, is, it does the job, it, it does the job, but it's like, oh, I just, I just really wanted to get away from a backpack. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's the one thing, like, riding without a backpack is so freaking nice. And then that's when this guy comes into the picture. Um, now, obviously you can see by the size of it that uh, you can't fit everything you need into it. Uh, luckily for me, I shoot with a Sony a7, uh, and then at the moment, uh, my go-to lens, I usually ride with a 14mm uh, directional fish, uh, and then I can fit my 70 to 200 in this guy, but it does raise up a little bit. Or I can just take the 28 to 70, I, 70 I think, the Tamron lens there. Uh, and if I need that extra reach, I can always shoot my camera in crop mode so it gets a bit more reach out of it. Um, so, it, like, it does the job. It, it honestly does the job, and it does the job really, really well. Um, so obviously some main features before I get some top-down shots and stuff like that. Obviously you've got two pockets here on the sides, which are super beneficial. Uh, usually a set of keys, and then I have like a camera strap inside this one over here. Um, that's really fantastic. They're really great. Obviously you've got a great... Obviously you've got a strap and obviously a crap load of length if you're you know, a bit of a bigger person and whatnot. Uh, then you've got this breathability pad here, which is really comfortable. Like, I rode um, Mount Annan Botanical Gardens Trail, which is about four or five k's, and then I rode 20 k's on Monday at Mill Creek with Johnny K, uh, and I never felt like I was sweating at my hips. Uh, this thing was like, I really can't get over how good this thing is. We'll open it up, and uh, as you can see, you've got three compartments. Well, you can realistically have as many compartments as you want, and you could ride like that if you want to, but that's obviously not how I like to have it. <laughs> so I've got, you know, usually ride with about three compartments in there and stuff like that, just to separate my stuff. And just for reference, I'll, uh, oh, it also comes with an extra, an extra divider, so you can do other dividing. Uh, just for reference, uh, so this is my uh, 28 to 75, sorry. Uh, and it sits in there quite nicely, you know, not a little bit of movement, but obviously once you have obviously a camera, uh, and we'll use this spare Canon camera as an example, once that's in there, um, and then obviously we can track that in there, just for examples, just to see how she fits everything. Uh, I've really screwed myself over by doing that, taking those dividers out. Um, and then, the 28, the set, uh, see the, sorry, the 70 to 200, you get that in there. And like I was saying before, the 70 to 200 does make it sit up a little bit, but still zips up nicely. And yeah, like it works really, really well. Um, the one problem I sort of have run into, uh, I guess, is the fact that it is a little bit difficult to fit, obviously, GoPro and GoPro accessories in there at the same time. Uh, I have managed to actually get all my camera gear, uh, a GoPro and a chest strap in there at the same time. So it does work. It definitely does work, um, which has been great. Uh, we'll show you the front part so we can see all the compartments. This is really cool and I really do like this. Obviously, you have this zipper here. Zipper here. Uh, which obviously pulls down and then you have SD card little holders for SD cards or uh, maybe some filters and stuff like that and they even have little little bands inside there that hold stuff nice and tight uh, and then this here which is currently been holds my, my filters spare batteries which I probably should put inside there uh, and holds my phone that's where I usually put my phone so this hip pack <laughs> It's, it's, it's really good, hey, it's really good. Uh, I really have enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, if you haven't noticed already, there isn't anywhere to put like a bladder, like a water bladder. Um, so, I've just gone out and bought myself just one of these insulated bottles. And I'm sort of the believer at the moment that like, 
You probably don't need to ride with as much water as you do. Uh, and the fact that you drink it is because it's there and you actually don't need it. Like I was saying, I rode with this guy on Monday and I rode 20 Ks with John out at Mill Creek and that was enough. And this is like, what, 600 liters, maybe seven, 600 liters, 700 mils or something. What is this? doesn't even say. Um, yeah. 23 ounces, whatever that is in mm, liters, milliliters, whatever the freaking hell we're talking about. But yeah, um, I guess we can talk about the bottom, which is pretty handy. Uh, obviously, as I said before, uh, these little straps here are your uh, for tripods and stuff like that. The one problem I have ran into, because uh, it did rain when I was riding the other day, uh, the rain cover, which is fantastic, but if you have uh, a water bottle, in the sides here, oh, which I haven't actually spoke about, uh, which is your little side pocket thing here where you can chuck your, chuck your water bottle in there. And I'm assuming this little guy here is for something like that to hold that in place. And the other side just has something. So you could obviously put something down there as well. But when the water bottle's in there, um, the rain jacket sort of doesn't really Maybe it does work and you just need to sort of really, I don't know, yeah, it definitely does work. Um, yeah. If you haven't been able to tell already, reviews aren't exactly my strong, strong fold, strong point, whatever. But I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Uh, it was like a little weird learning to ride with a hip pack. Uh, it's a bit of a weird feeling to start off with. Obviously having all this weight and stuff like around your waist. Uh, but after, I don't know, two or so rides and one of those rides being like I said, 20 Ks and like going down some downhill and stuff. Um, it's, it's obviously, it's, it's, probably, it's the best thing ever. Like, there definitely is limitations to the bag. Obviously one being water, two the amount that you ride with um, and then, but like I rode with what, I guess, I guess what my, my camera, two lenses, GoPro and a bottle of water. So I, what would you reckon? You'd say like four kilos, maybe, maybe even less, three kilos. Uh, and having it to sit just above your back, like, I didn't realistically notice it that much. It wasn't never like, I was never like, oh my God, this is irritating. I do have to say that I did find myself tightening it every time that we would stop. Uh, like, and I'm not saying because it came too loose, that's why we stopped, why we stopped for whatever reason. Uh, but I, I did find myself having to tighten it, but I, I, that's, I guess, with any backpack, realistically. Um, but for me, and as, as, like, as a creative, uh, <laughs> as a creative, as someone that enjoys going out and riding with, his, with their friends, there's sometimes where you don't want to have to take, like, a big bag. Like, this thing gives me the ability to ride with Obviously, like my Sony, uh, I like, and sometimes maybe even just like my fisheye lens, or even just saying like my 20, like that one lens. And it's in such a compact and fun way to ride. And it's like so convenient and it is just, yeah. Like I understand why everyone rides with pit packs now because they're, they're great. Like, I really recommend it. Like, and I know Evoc do make like hip packs that have like, you know, that have like water bladders and stuff like that. So there's, there's definitely options if you just want a normal hip pack. Uh, but for someone who likes to go take photos and never want to miss an opportunity to capture something, this thing is going to be my go-to. Um, and like I said, I do have to ride with a water bottle. Uh, and if I really, really feel like I'm going to go for a big ride, I'm going to need more water. Uh, I can put like a water bottle cage on my bike, which I haven't done yet. Or, I don't know, the other per I'm sure one of the people you're riding with does have like a camel pack and you can be like, hey man, can I have some, can I have some water? And they're probably like, cool, <laughs> yeah, have some, I don't know, you have some like natural water from a stream or something here, but I don't know. Um, but for, I think I paid 150 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a camera bag. Like I paid like, I think I paid close to $400 for this guy. So 150 bucks for this, I can I can pretty much operate at like full capacity of like what I use to create. I really can't say enough good things about this bag. It's really like, it's really hit like a, a strong point for me as 
I really think this is going to make me ride a lot better because I don't have that heaviness sitting on my shoulders. Like, you just feel free. I just can't... Like, I, you'd much rather have a strain around your waist, which doesn't... Like, don't get me wrong, you don't... You do need your waist while you ride, but, like, your arms and your shoulders are the main thing. And if you've got something that's, like, really pulling your shoulders around, like, I don't know. Like, if you guys can't tell, I'm really wrapped around this bag. I think it's a great bag. <laughs> I guess that's... I guess that's all from today's video. Obviously, not as much riding, I guess, in it because it's like a bag review. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you're out, if you are someone who's out there who likes to ride with a camera or anything else like that, like be sure to message me if you have any other questions or anything else you want to know about this bag. Uh, I'm more than happy to tell you guys and talk to you guys about it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, um, I guess. Thank you. We actually hit 500 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Um, this whole like journey down like mountain biking has been like something really crazy for me uh, <laughs> to the point where like you know just under a year ago when I was like living in Whistler for the summer I like repurchased the bike and it was the first time I bought a bike in like god knows how many years and it's just snowballed into what we're currently doing right now and I'm enjoying creating this bike content for you guys and I'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying it subscribing to the channel so thank you to all new subscribers Thank you to everyone who's been here uh, in the beginning and stuff like that. Um, what I am going to do, seeing as we did hit 500 subscribers, is that I'm going to be uh, going to be giving away one of uh, one of these guys. I'm going to give away a uh, a 440 Bell helmet. Uh, just as a thank you, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, the majority of everyone that subscribes to my channel is like predominantly into mountain biking. Um, so this one, I'm not even gonna put this out on my Instagram and things like that because I just don't care. I'd rather just make sure that whoever wins this is someone that was here for the first 500 subscribers. Um, so uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you guys, just like the last giveaway I did of the pedals, uh, if you guys would like to win yourself a brand new helmet, um, just go follow me over on Instagram. Um, Make sure you send me a screenshot that you've subscribed uh, to my uh, YouTube channel and just yeah, just shoot me a message uh, and obviously I'll announce the winner in the next coming weeks, I don't know, maybe like two weeks like I did last time and uh, yeah, you'll just have to tell me your helmet size and I'll get it all ordered, bought and I'll send it to you because uh, I don't know, I just really care about safety. <laughs> I just think that, you know, we, we obviously do our sport and we love it, um, but, you know, we've only got one head and it can go wrong so quickly, so uh, I want to make sure that, you know, one of you is out there uh, wearing, especially a helmet with MIMS, uh, if you guys don't know what MIMS is and your helmet doesn't have MIMS, I do highly recommend getting one with that. The uh, multiple impact system inside your helmet is just super freaking important like but yeah so that's just me saying thank you to you guys uh, I do plan on doing some other giveaways uh, obviously continuing out through the channel um, I have reached out to Bicycles Online and uh, we're organizing something in the next month or so just with like stuff coming and all that all that jazz um, but yeah so in two weeks time I'll uh, announce the winner of this helmet, I'll get in contact with you um, and all that other jazz. But besides that guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, a bit different. Um, but I don't know, if you guys enjoy product reviews or anything like that, I'm more than happy to continue doing them. Hopefully it'll give me a chance to get better at doing them because I'm not that good. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, great riding bag, uh, a great little hit pack for creators. I, I can't I can't say any more good things about this bag, especially if you're someone who likes to ride with camera gear. Uh, it is fantastic. Uh, so this will be on my hips until something better comes. Uh, and the only time you won't see it on my hips is if I'm like trying to do like a full-on bloody production shoot with like lights and proper gimbals and who all God knows what. So um, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe. Um, but besides all that. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it, uh, hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more mountain biking, camera, content, creating, just like enjoying life, dude. Like, that's, that's all I'm out here doing. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing all this stuff. Yeah. So, like I always say, 
get outside, <laughs> create and capture, tell your mother that you love her, pat puppies, and I'll uh, see you guys next Monday. What do you reckon my odds are here of hitting the, the camera? I'm going to say 80%. That was pretty close. No.